Mercury is about to go into the sign of Aries for a crazy long period of time. So I am here in drikpanchang.com and if I see the dates are mind-boggling. The transit has already happened which means Mercury as of now from 26th March to 29th Mercury is already in Aries. So from 26th March to 31st of May. So for two months Mercury will be transiting in Aries. Now, it's that time of the year again when Mercury is about to go retrograde because Mercury stays in one sign for not more than 20, 22 days generally. But when it goes retrograde, then there's to and fro motion and we'll discuss the retrograde later. But today is the transit of Mercury in the sign of Aries from now till 31st of May. All right, so this transit is very, very, very interesting because uh, not just because it is uh, a retrograde transit but also along with the retrogression it is happening in the original first sign okay so <clears throat> if you see the kalpurush kundli which is the chart from aries ascendant you will see that aries is the first house so this transit is happening in the first house which essentially means that there are new beginnings which are going to start because in the sign of Aries, we have the nakshatra of Ashwini. So whenever a planet transits Ashwini, there are large, there are grand new beginnings in, in context of that particular nakshatra. Okay, So there, uh, that planet. So therefore, depending on your chart, whichever houses Mercury rules, you need to see that and by that you will know where uh, which houses will uh, have new beginnings. So, for example, uh, if you are a Capricorn ascendant, okay, so for Capricorn, Mercury is the lord of the ninth house, okay. So, therefore, this becomes very important because Mercury is a very important trinal lord. He's also your sixth lord, okay. So, Mercury becomes a very important planet because he's lord of a Dustana and, of course, the most important trine, which is the ninth house. So, during this transit, now for you, for uh, Capricorn, you need to also see where is Aries. Okay, so you have to see where the sign of Aries is falling. So, for you, it is the fourth house. So, it's like saying the Lord of the sixth is coming to the fourth and the Lord of the ninth is also coming to the fourth. And there are some new beginnings associated with it. Okay, so this could be like a situation where you have the sixth lord, which has to do with profession, but is going to the fourth house, which is the house of education, knowledge, you know, or career, uh, or career uh, insights, basically, okay? Because it's directly opposite of the 10th. Uh, there could be some requirement of, you know, new training, new certification, or maybe there's a new, uh, you are going to a new location for your job, you know, th this could be the scenario. And the ninth lord going to the fourth, this could classes, classically mean there is a requirement of some higher education, okay? Because both the houses are houses of education, the fourth and the ninth. So therefore, uh, for Capricorn, it is possible that your, uh, or it could also be possible for Capricorn that the sixth lord is entering Ashwini. So there is a new job which you are starting or there is a possibility of a new job which could come in. And this could happen uh especially in the month of april because from second mercury is retrograde and on 25th 26th mercury will go direct april so therefore for you capricorn if it has to do with job or your daily life you know this is very 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 important that you see which job you are doing now and it could also happen that you might uh, get a new job automatically without anybody asking. You may get some offer or you may want to uh, apply to some new job, okay? So therefore, you have to see the houses that Mercury rules and where Capricorn is. So the houses that Mercury, Mercury, Mercury will be... Uh... <clears throat> Oops, the microphone has changed. Yeah, it has now changed back. Okay, so... The houses that Mercury rules, that will be the primary agenda, okay? So, for example, for Capricorn, sixth lord, so the agenda is job. And ninth lord, agenda is higher education. 
the house where capricorn is uh, where aries is falling okay wherever aries is that that house will be the house which will provide the resources to fulfill the agenda okay so now sixth lord transiting fourth it's like some agenda related to job is being fulfilled by the fourth house which is you know knowledge uh, how home how something like that okay homeland and all this so therefore just don't see the houses that mercury rules also see aries and also don't do the other way around which means you will just see oh mercury will enter fourth house mm, something will happen great no it's not like that <clears throat> it's not just a planet okay just don't say oh mercury is entering fourth house you know somebody um yeah some relative will come or something like that you know because mercury is not your second lord okay for capricorn don't forget that which means if the second lord would have come to the fourth house it could have meant that some family member is coming to your house okay but not in this case or just because it's mercury and he's the karaka for relatives it still doesn't mean that relatives are coming okay because for you he is the sixth lord ninth lord okay so similarly for every ascendant mercury will rule different houses and it will have different flavors okay so then you have to see what agenda does mercury have and during this transit what happens is mercury will go back to pisces again which means you may start something and there could be confusion okay in regards to what you are doing but then gradually again mercury will enter aries uh, so and then on 31st may finally it will enter taurus okay so be very watchful of the month of april there are uh 5th april saturn is changing uh, his nakshatra and then 15 april jupiter is changing the nakshatra so very 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 important month okay so don't <clears throat> don't miss and don't mess around with the month of april which means don't do anything crazy <laughs> okay especially uh, after third or fourth because you know mercury is retrograde and you know when mercury is retrograde there are typical it's the classic literature right that um if you sign something you know it can bounce back you know so there could be issues okay so be watchful be careful be vigilant and understand that if you want to be successful this is the right time because mercury lords two houses i am sure whichever ascendant you are it lords very important houses kendra lord or it's a dustana lord or a trinal lord nonetheless you will have chance for new beginnings so very simple check your ascendant check where mercury is new beginnings will happen till the end of month of may okay and because as i said the transition has already started so new beginnings might have already started for you all right thank you so much for your patience and if you like this video hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new and if you want a consultation from me you can always go to my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him for sure thank you